Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. The day is begin. There's so much to do. Bottom, bum, bottom. Morning, good morning, good morning to you. Buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias a ti. Buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias a ti. El día comienza, hay mucho que hacer. Buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias a ti. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Bottom, bum, bottom. Day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Bum, bottom, bottom, bum. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to meeting time. I'm Miss Leia, and here's my friend Teddy. Can you help us with the months of the year? Let's sing it together. Come on, little bee. January, February, March, and April, May, June. July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year, my dear. I wonder what month it is now. Do you know? Little bee's gonna listen. It is April. So let me take this off. Put it right here on the top. So this month is April. Help me spell April. A P R I L. April. Can you look at the picture? What's happening in the picture? Do you think raining is good or bad? Why do you think that? I want you to think about, is rain good for plants? Is it good for animals? Do you like the rain? What do you do when it rains? It usually rains a lot in April. But they say April showers bring May flowers. So right now, I want you to fill in what day it is when you're watching this. You can ask a mommy, a grandma, a sister, someone to help you figure out what day it is on my calendar. So today is April 2020. Let's do the days of the week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Can you help me count how many days April has? We're going to have to count all the way to 30. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Woo! Next, let's count to ten in Espanol, in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Muy bien. Let's now count in Japanese. Nihongo de. Ichi. Ni, san, shi, go, roku, nana, hachi, ki, ji. Good job. I like how you counted along with us. Do you see I have a special day on number 22? April 22nd is Earth Day. That's when we think about how we can help our planet. Do we want to throw garbage on the ground on our planet? Bzzz. Oh, B says no. B says definitely not. Is there some way you can help the planet? Make sure you put your garbage in the trash can. Make sure to recycle things. We use a recycled paper, plastic, metal, glass. We can recycle those and make new bottles and boxes and use it again. So this month, we're learning about plants. What do you know about plants? Do you remember anything from some of the lessons you've done? We did exercise about plants. If you didn't see that video, you can go back and check for it on Google Classrooms. Let's take a look. I'm gonna scoot over. Sorry, Teddy. You gotta make space for me. We gotta share. So now, I want us to take a look and talk about flowers. Since this is April and April showers, bring May flowers. Here's Miss Leia's little picture of a flower. Inside the flower, you have some special parts. You have the petals. They are the pretty part. They tell the insects and the animals to come to the flower to get some food. We have a stigma. It is the center part. The stigma needs pollen to make seeds and fruit. Then you have the anther. The anther is the part of the flower that makes the pollen. Some plants can get the pollen to the stigma all by themselves, just when the wind blows. But other plants cannot get it to the stigma by itself. It needs a helper to move the little pollen pieces from the anther to the stigma so it can make a new fruit and it can make seeds for new plants. And our little helpers for this are bees. They come and they get some sweet nectar from the flower. And they get the pollen stuck to their feet. The little dots of pollen get stuck to their feet and when they crawl around the flower, they get the pollen on the stigma. And then they go to another flower and they move the pollen around from plant to plant so that the flowers can make new fruit and new seeds. Butterflies can also help plants. 
they can also get the pollen stuck to their little feet and spread it around from flower to flower. Here's our little dots of pollen. Pollen is very, 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 very tiny. And then the pollen goes from the anther to the stigma so that the flower can make new seeds and new fruit. So it's okay when flowers die. It means the plant is ready to make fruit and seeds. Without bees, we wouldn't be able to grow fruits and vegetables like apples, tomatoes, melons, or broccoli. Bzzz. Thank you, little bees. And thank you, butterflies, too. I want you to take a look outside your window and tell me what the weather is like. Is it stormy? Snowy? Windy? Sunny? Rainy? Partly cloudy? Or cloudy? How does that weather make you feel? Why does it make you feel that way? Little bee, what kind of weather do you like? Zzz. You don't want to get rained on? Zzz. Oh, that would hurt your wings? Zzz. Do you know what season it is? I'll give you a hint. It's a season where it becomes warmer, it starts to rain, and we get the plants coming back to life. They grow new flowers and new leaves. This season is spring. Can you say spring? How does spring make you feel? Teddy, we just talked about flowers. Do you like flowers? What, what is it? There's something in the question mark bag? We gotta take a look? Okay, I'm gonna open it. Oh, it says to Miss Leia. We're gonna open this up, see what it is. What do I got in my question mark bag? Oh, my friends sent me some special pictures for us. I asked them for their favorite plant. Oh, my mom sent a picture too. Let's take a peek at what they sent us. This is my friend, Rich. He's very excited about these flowers. They're right next to his apartment in New Jersey. Aren't they beautiful and pink? It's a tree covered in flowers. He also found a lilac tree. This is my friend, Rachel. I used to babysit her when she was little. These are roses. Rachel also lived in Japan, so she sent me some pictures of the cherry blossoms in Japan. This is my friend Owen. He visited California and went to the redwood forests. These trees are so big that a person can fit inside the trunk. My mom sent me a picture of her poor, poor daffodils. They got covered in snow one morning. That was nice of them to send us some pictures, wasn't it? My friends were so nice to share with us. I'm so sorry my mommy got snow in the spring. Put that back in our question mark. All right, Teddy, you gotta sit on my lap because we gotta flip this board over. Thank you, Teddy. You're gonna have to wait with me. Come on, little bee. <laughs> bee, we have our shapes today. Do you see shapes that you know? What shape is this? This is a circle. Do you remember what we call the outside of a circle? There are no sides to count. So we call the outside of a circle a circumference. Can you say circumference? What shape is this? This 
is a square. Can you tell me how many sides a square has? It has four sides. Let's count together. One, two, three, four. What shape is this? This is a rectangle. How many sides does the rectangle have? Let's count it together. One, two, three, four. A rectangle has four sides. But is a rectangle different or the same from a square? They're different. How are they different? Look at them closely. What makes a square and a rectangle different. A square has four sides that are all the same. But a rectangle has sides that are different lengths. Some of their sides are long and some of the sides are short. A rectangle has two short sides and two long sides. Let's look at our next shape. This is an, it does look like a stop sign. We call this shape a octagon. Octo means eight, just like when you say octopus, because an octopus has eight legs. Let's count the sides of our octagon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides for our octagon. What shape is this? This is a triangle. How many sides does the triangle have? Let's count it together. One, two, three. Bzz. It has three sides. What shape is this one? It does look like part of a circle. We call this a semicircle. It is half of a circle. If I cut this one in half, I would have a semicircle. A semicircle has one side and half of the circumference of a circle. We call this half an arch. Can you say arch? Sometimes you might see an arch if you go under a bridge. What shape is this? This is a star. I have a lot of sides on my star, but I also have points on a star. This star has how many points? Let's count it together. One, two, three, four, five. This star has five points. Some stars can have six points, seven points, as many points as you can draw. But a star's points always look kind of spiky. Bzzz. Oh, you like the star. It's glittery. No, it's not a flower. You can't get any nectar from it. I'm sorry, little bee. Let's flip it one more time, Teddy. Ooh, Teddy! Look what we have! We have letters! Let's sing the alphabet together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, 
P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? All right, little B, you got to pick a letter. B, pick the letter S. Can you see the letter S? Like snake, like socks. Can you look around your room and find something that starts with s? What did you find? Remember, it has to be a s sound. That's what you found? Let's try the next letter. All right, little B, find the letter. The letter M, let's take a look at it. This is the letter M. M, M, like monkey. Is there anything else that starts with the letter M? M. M. Mom does start with the letter M. Can you look around your room and maybe find something that starts with the letter M? M. M. Be careful. We don't want things that start with the letter N. The letter N makes a different sound. N, N. I have to use my tongue when I do the letter N. N, N. Like the number nine. Or nut. Or necklace. But when I do the letter M, I have to use my mouth. M, M like monkey and mommy. You found something that started with M? Good job hunting for that. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for morning meeting today. Mm, say goodbye. Say bye, Teddy. Have a nice day.